Mike Radich here, and I'm now joined on the phone by Tachi Palace Fights featherweight champion Georgie Karahanian. Georgie, how are you? Good, good. How are you guys doing? Doing good. Georgie, in your last fight, you won the title after beating Isaac De Jesus by submission at Tachi Palace Fights 11. How did you feel about your performance in the fight? Uh, yeah, I felt good. Uh, the fight went, uh, you know, good. Uh, everything was fine. It's fine, uh, except being cut. I got a little cut on my top by a eyebrow. But, uh, you know, the fight was good. I wish it was a little standing. But, uh, you know, when is the win? Uh, I came out with the night night. So I'm happy. Outside of the cut above your eye, did the fight go according to plan? Is that how you kind of envision the fight going? Uh, I try to visualize the fight uh, many different ways. You know, me finishing the fight with my submission or by, uh, you know, TKO, knockout, or decision. So uh, I don't go in there with the strictly game plan. I mean, uh, I want to finish the fight. I knew his Jiu Jitsu was his uh, weak point. So uh, that's why I, uh, you know, as soon as we went on the ground, I knew I was going to tap him. You know, because he's not at my level with his jiu-jitsu. Do you visualize a lot when you're preparing for fights? Uh, I say yes. I do visualize uh, my hand getting raised because I put a lot of training. And, um, you know, two weeks before a fight, it's mostly all visualization for me. So just picture my hand getting raised and coming out victorious. Now your next fight will be at Tachi Palace Fights 12. You're defending your title against Micah Miller. How's training been going for the fight? Uh, the training has been going good. Uh, everything is uh, perfect. Spawn with tall guys, with six foot, six foot one guys. Uh, uh, I know she does a lot of rubber guts, so uh, I went to 10 Planet Jiu Jitsu. I uh, worked on that with a couple of those guys. So I have to be familiar with that position uh, just in case the fight goes to the ground. But other than that, uh, the training camp is going good. I have really good training partners at my home team at Melania that are helping me out. And I have a great coach, Romero, my bitches, Marsui, that are helping me. So I'm just, everything is good. The camp is good. What are your thoughts on Micah Miller as an opponent? Uh, he's a great opponent. Uh, he fought a lot of tough guys. Uh, uh, he's a WC vet. So, uh, you know, the guy's very tough. I don't see nothing from him. Uh, he's very dangerous with everything. I, like I said, uh, I take all my, I take all my opponents very serious. I don't matter who it is. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm just really ready for my guy. I know he's training hard. And I'm training hard, so, you know, I don't, I don't underestimate him. What are some holes that you see in his game, and how much tape have you studied of his fights? There's a few fights online. Uh, ooh, uh, there's uh, there's a couple of holes. I mean, uh, you know, I can't. I don't want to say that. After my fight, we'll see him. Uh, the, you know, all of us have those weaknesses and strengths. So, uh, you know, he's a. Uh, He's a good fighter, you know. He's just very, very well, well rounded. I know you'll be able to tell me more or better after the fight, but you fought a lot of tough guys: Bao Quach, Joe Warren, Patricio Pitbull, just to name a few. Where does he rank amongst those guys that you fought before? Uh, you know, I don't think you know his striking level. I don't think his striking level might be uh, comparable to uh, Joe Warren, maybe. Maybe better, a little better, but uh, not to be sure about us because those two are really good strikers. But um, he, he, she should be out there with them. But you know, I uh, like I said, I don't underestimate no one, but I don't respect my opponents. You know, I I don't underestimate them, but I don't respect them. So when it comes to fight day, uh, I don't care who's in front of me. I'm just trying to you know destroy them. Looking at the fight on paper, experience is exactly the same. He has a record of 17 and 4. You have a record of 17, 3 and 1. The experience is exactly the same. But where do you see that you have an advantage over him? Whether it be in the stand up, the ground, clinch, where do you see some advantages that you might have over him? Of course, uh, standing up, he's going to have longer reach. But, uh, you know, I, you know, like, 
I think Steve kills uh, everything, so uh, it doesn't matter how long the tall he is. Um, goes to the ground. Uh, I see myself dominating six, then standing, uh, you know, I see myself landing punches. So everywhere it goes, uh, I see, you know, me dominating. The only fights that you've lost recently have been to Patricio Pitbull and Joe Warren, two guys who have went on to win that season's tournament. Are you still under contract with Bellator? No, I'm not under contract with Bellator. You know, I'm, uh, I'm with Tachi. It's a free fight, non-exclusive. So, uh, I'm not, yeah, uh, so I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just fighting for Tachi, you know, sport, uh, trying to fight, fight my way up to uh, UFC. Is there any interest in going back to Bellator for you? Uh, or is it just basically you're going to try to defend this Tachi Palace fights belt as long as possible and then move up to the UFC? Is that basically your plan? Yeah, my plan is to defend this belt, keep that belt, uh, and then fight. Hopefully get the call from UFC and, you know, fight some of those guys. I have nothing against Bellator. It is, it is an awesome organization. They're really good at staff. They did a lot for me and you know, I got my exposure with them. I fought on Fox. I fought on MTV2. Uh, I fought off the tournament. So it was a good experience with them. But, you know, I was a fighter. I want to I wanna evolve and I want to test myself with UFC fighters. And, uh, you know, I see uh, myself doing good against some of the fighters in UFC. Your decision not to go back to Bellator have any factor with the tournament? Is that something that you don't want to be locked into a tournament again? Is that another thing? Or do, are you a fan of the tournament format? No, I love the, t- the tournament format. I I really uh, like the tournament format a lot. And I think it's awesome. And, uh, you know, you get to fight. You win. You get to fight three times in three months. So that's awesome. Uh, I just, there's, there's something we didn't, we didn't, we didn't get to say, uh, you know, we didn't negotiate right. So, uh, you know, I'm just... Right now, I'm just happy with uh, Tachi. Like I said, just want to defend the belt and move on to UFC. I'm curious, how did you get your nickname, Insane? <laughs> I I originally got that from my mom. Uh, it was you know it was nothing <laughs> nothing big, but uh, I got that from my mom because I was you know like doing still so many. I was pretty much like ADD kid. I was really hyper. I was doing a lot of that crazy stuff. Um, I got that from my mom. And then when I started doing MMA, they would ask me, oh, you have a nickname, which I, I personally don't like nicknames, don't like to use nicknames in, in, in fights or in MMA when they announce me, because I think that's, that's just stupid, that's too gay. <laughs> but, uh, you know, they asked me what's your nickname, nickname, and I said, oh, you know, they, my mom was just say insane. So, uh, you know, I got stuck with, stuck, because uh, when I was fighting, I used to talk shit to my opponents, you know, just feel really comfortable do like crazy stuff and you know they call me that but you know that's something that down low I don't I don't I mean it's, it's on shirt like, all over but you know I don't I don't feel like proud to be called that insane <laughs> I just want to be known as Georgie are they going to announce you as that at, at the fight on March 9th <laughs> I think the Giorgio Martinez was announced it, so it's okay <laughs> From what I understand you're a vegetarian have you been a vegetarian your whole life or did you start when you started fighting. No, I, I uh, when I started fighting, I wasn't a vegetarian. I mean, I wasn't a vegetarian my whole life. I've been a uh, vegetarian for about going on five, five and a half years. Why exactly did you decide that was the right thing for you? Well, my, uh, you know, my girlfriend tried it for two weeks, and she felt good because she saw that Peter video, and then I, you know, she showed me that Peter video, it's like, oh, you gotta try this, you gotta try it. so I tried it, and uh, you know, I really, uh, on those two weeks, I really liked the way I felt, uh, you know, because back then, I was just eating crappy food, I was, I was pretty much on a McDonald's ride, that was my favorite place to go eat, <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, when I watched the video, you know, of course, I felt bad for the animals. You know, I gave it a chance for two weeks, and I felt great. And, you know, since then, I've been stick with it, and uh, I'm just really happy with my choice. What's a basic meal for you when you're in a training camp or when you're just going about your regular routine? When I'm not training for a fight, uh, I like to eat uh, a lot of, you know, I'm into 
to pancakes and waffles. You know, I like good, uh, I like bread, sandwiches. So pizza, cheese pizza, vegetarian pizza, that, that's my weakness. Mm -hmm. But if I'm in the training, I cut down everything. So it's just mostly, I mean, I still eat all my vegetables when I'm eating bad, but 95% when I'm dieting is all vegetables and raw organic stuff. Georgie, real quick before I let you go, do you have any sponsors you'd like to thank? Anything you want to say to the fans? Yeah, I would like to, uh, you know, first of all, thank you for interviewing me. Yep. Like, and then um, I would like to thank my team, Melania. I would like to also thank HighFighters.com, OTM Fight Shop, um, Amy and Brian, Coconut Water. Uh, well, I know I'm forgetting a few sponsors, but, uh, you know, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, George and May, you guys can go ahead and do that. That would be cool. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. Georgie, thank you for taking the time to talk. I really appreciate it. Good luck at Tachi Palace Fights 12, defending your title against Micah Miller. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Mike.